Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our daily devotional for this Monday. It's good to be with you again. I'm going to be reading a lot of scripture this morning, but I'm going to be reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, and we're going to be reading from verse 6 through the end of the chapter. So if you just listen, because there is a, a, something that I want to talk about within all of these verses and the overall tone of the, of the uh, scripture uh, when we are done. This is what the scripture says. You, Lord, have abandoned your people, the descendants of Jacob. They are full of superstitions from the east. They practice divination like the Philistines and embrace pagan customs. Their land is full of silver and gold, and there is no end to their treasures. Their land is full of horses. There is no end to their chariots. Their land is full of idols. They bow down to the work of their hands, to what their fingers have made. So people will be brought low, and everyone humbled. Do not forgive them. Go into the rocks, hide in the ground from the fearful presence of the Lord and the splendor of his majesty. The eyes of the arrogant will be humbled, and human pride brought low. The Lord alone will be exalted in that day. The Lord Almighty has a day in store for all the proud and lofty, for all that is exalted, and they will be humbled. For all the cedars of Lebanon, tall and lofty, and all the oaks of Bashan, for all the towering mountains and the high hills, and every lofty tower and every fortified wall, for every trading ship and every stately vessel, the arrogance of man will be brought low and human pride humbled. The Lord alone will be exalted in that day and the idols will totally disappear. People will flee to caves and the rocks and to holes in the ground and from the fearful presence of the Lord and the splendor of his majesty when he rises to shake the earth. In that day, people will throw away to the moles and bats their idols of silvers and idols of gold which they've made to worship. They will flee to caverns and the rocks and to the overhanging crags from the fearful presence of the Lord and the splendor of his majesty when he rises to shake the earth. Stop trusting in mere humans who have put a breath in their nostrils. Why hold them in esteem? There's two things I want to say about this really quickly. Number one is that there is coming a day when man will no longer be able to exalt himself. Only God will be exalted. On the, dear, on the day of the Lord and Judgment Day, it says only the Lord will be exalted on that day. But the second thing is, I want to know what your attitude of your heart was as we read this. Because if the attitude of your heart was good, these people are going to get finally just what they deserve. Then I would ask you to look at your heart again. Because the attitude of your heart should be weeping and mourning for the people who are going to be lost. And thrown into hell and judged without Jesus Christ. And if that is in your heart then that is what should drive you to talk to people about God now because there is coming a day and we don't know when it is when God is going to judge the earth. Are you happy that these people are going to get what they deserve or are you sad that these people are going to get what they deserve? Just something to think about this morning. See you tomorrow.